Welcome to Tag Management Tips and Tricks. Want to take you through today how to troubleshoot tags, how to QA, how to just check generally data that's collected, make sure that it's firing for different tags, different platforms using your browser's network tab. Now here at Tag Inspector, we deal with a number of clients for the whole spectrum of tag management. And this will include implementation, general tag management, and QA within a tag management system, and just answering questions around different tags and implementation best practices, things like that for different teams. Now, the majority of marketing tag requests that are going to be happening on a website comes from media teams, analytics teams, maybe working with like a Google Analytics or a Adobe Analytics. And then also your social media, search, engine marketing, just different marketing teams within an organization that have a particular platform that they want to run advertising or run media through and they need tracking for to be able to identify what was the effectiveness of this campaign, where are users coming from, that sort of thing. Now we get a ton of questions around what's in place now, is this working? What data is collected by this particular platform? And as well as, I guess, also questions around for the QA process. As soon as a tag's implemented, I will publish a tag for a client and the response will be on their end after I you know, send them, yes, I see this working, I see data being collected. Okay, well, we will validate that the data is collected once it starts showing up in reporting which will usually take about 24 to 48 hours. So to shorten that lead time and to make sure that everything is working as it's supposed to be on your site and for you to be able to just identify and QA tags and data that's collected, the best way of doing this is using your browser's network tab. So in order to do this, you're on your website and I you know, say have two different tags that I want to check. I just published Google Analytics, just a general page view tag via my tag management system, and I also just published a Facebook tracking tag. Now, from a manual perspective, there's a number of ways that you can, can test this. Most major platforms, uh, Google has like their Google Tag Assistant, Facebook has a Facebook Pixel Helper, a lot of different platforms have plugins that you can install for the respective platforms. Uh, but the network tab I've always found a little bit easier. So what you'll need to do in order to be able to see this is just right click on a page and inspect. What this is going to do is open up your browser's development tools. And before you say, you know, hold on, stop right there, it's very, very rather simple. So click inspect. And then I'm going to come over here to my network tab. Now, within this network tab, what this is going to show me is all network requests that are being sent from a page. Now, these could be requests going up and trying to get information from somewhere and pull it back, such as the creative or the content on your page. It could be different tags firing, sending off information to a respective platform. Anything that's executing on your site there's going to be a network request associated with that. So for Google Analytics, there's going to be a Google Analytics network request. For Facebook, there's going to be a Facebook network request. And if I want to see if those different platforms are executing and collecting the information that I think they are, no better place than to look at the actual requests that are being sent. So to see all network requests that are happening on a page, once I open this up, go to my network tab, I'm just going to need to refresh the page. What this is going to do is the page is going to re-execute in my browser, which is going to cause all those different scripts and all those different tags to then execute as the browser is going down and reading them. So you'll start to see here within that network tab a number of different requests. And I know you're probably thinking, well, how in the heck am I going to figure out, you know, where is the one that I'm looking for? So that's where a plugin such as our Tag Explorer plugin comes in handy. So 
click on Tag Explorer, what our Tag Explorer plugin will do is show you just in layman's terms all the different tags and all the different platforms that are loading on the site. Uh, how our, this is working, just kind of as an aside, we're grabbing all these network requests. We have them classified. So once we see a request and are able to match it with a particular platform, we then throw it in that bucket and then present it to you. So for something like Google Universal Analytics, I can see, okay, Universal Analytics is loading, great. Is my property, is it my account? Is it the new thing that I've just set up on there? So I can click on Google Universal Analytics and it will show all of the different requests that met the classification for Universal Analytics. Now, this is useful in our context here as we're looking at those requests within the network tab because it shows what the, that domain is. So when I can identify the domain, I can now come over here into the network and I can filter by that particular domain. So googleanalytics.com slash collect. That's my universal analytics request that's being sent. And I can see there's two that were sent. So I'll click on one individual one. I'll see the full request URL. That's the, the whole thing that was sent up to Google Analytics servers. Now, I know that looks like a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but if you scroll down, all of those different parameters that are contained within that request are broken out. So here I can see all that data that was collected. I can also see up here higher status code 200, green, good. It was successfully executed, successfully sent. So I know Universal Analytics is firing, and I know this was the information that was collected. So I can come down here, TID, I can see that it is my Google Analytics property. I can see that it is fired from my Google Tag Management account, or Google Tag Manager account. So I'm good to go there. Now what about that other tag? I know I also implemented a Facebook pixel. Well, come back up here into Tag Explorer, see what that request for Facebook looks like. It looks like Facebook's contained within it. So I can just come here. I can filter now by Facebook. I can see a Facebook event was sent as well as a couple of other requests. I can see this one with the 200, so it executed as was expected. It did fire. A page view event was sent up to Facebook with the location, so it has the page that was viewed. Um, and this is my pixel ID that you would be able to find within the Facebook interface. So here I'm able to identify, yes, both of these tags that I just set up are firing. Both are collecting the information that I'm expecting them to, and I don't have to wait for reporting to start populating to be able to identify that. I can QA right now, and I can see right now what exactly is happening. Now, that other situation that we discussed, if you just want to go in and check, okay, on this page, what tags are firing? What data is being collected? Same exact process for identifying that. Look within a plugin such as Tag Explorer, see what the request looks like, filter within that network tab for that request, see that it executed, see all that data that was being collected. Now, real quickly, I know we use Google Analytics as an example here. We'll go to a site with Adobe Analytics and it works the exact same way. So come in here, I'll inspect, which is gonna pull up that development console. Go over to my network tab. Refresh the page. Allow that page to reload, which is going to execute all the different tags that are on there, load in the creative, all that, which again, all of those different things that are happening on the page all are powered by those different network requests because that's what's sending and receiving information on the website. I can see a lot going on here. Using my plugin to see, okay, all these different tags that were fired. I'm looking for Adobe Analytics specifically see adidas.d3, 
come back over here, filter by requests that contain abuse.d3. I see my Adobe Site Catalyst, Adobe Analytics request. Massive requests come down here. See my query string parameters, all those different parameters, so the key value pairs all parsed out. So I can see the events that were captured here. I can see my e-bars that were all collected here. So all that data that was being collected about you know, me, the user, um, or a general user on your site, you can see exactly what happened, what executed. Now again, this is the quickest, easiest way to see what tags are firing, what data is being collected. Super, super effective when in that QA process to identify, okay, yes, this is executing as I'm expecting and collecting the proper information, as well as in that audit or just general troubleshooting or curiosity phase where you're wondering, you know, I know we have Facebook analytics set up on the site. What data are we collecting? Go in, look in the network tab. It'll all be there available for you. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you all very much for joining us here today, and I hope to see you in the future on more tag management tips and tricks. Thank you.